Welcome back. Now we'll be going over custom images. So in the, all the previous videos, we've been choosing images that are already available to us that Azure provides. So we're in, a, in the virtual machine. We're creating a new virtual machine here. So we've always just used like this Ubuntu here or, or selecting an image here. But we can actually create our own custom image if we needed to. And, and some of the reasons why you might create a custom image is you can you can have software already installed that you might need on all of your servers throughout your organization. So let's say maybe you know you're using you do something and you want Nginx to be installed on all of your servers by default. You can create an image that automatically has that done. Um, you can do uh, you can do anything. You can you can make sure that you have the latest packages. Um, and you can just make sure that that image has been like maybe battle tested so that you have the exact image replicated across all of your servers and that you know you have the exact uh, configuration as well. Uh, another reason to use it would be for like you can use it for auto scaling and load or uh, auto scaling and things like that. So when you're uh, so say if you have high high traffic to your website, and you start getting a lot of load and it needs to start spinning up new new virtual machines uh, you can already have your application you could maybe have your application code on there or you could have like your nginx already installed and maybe your users already installed um, and different things like that so so you might already have everything installed on that vm so only it only takes you know a matter of like 20 seconds to get the machine up and running Whereas if you didn't have Nginx installed, you'd have to install that after that machine was created, which could take longer. So that could take like a minute and a half. So that it, the longer it takes to get that machine, uh, 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 having that machine willing to accept web traffic, you know, your, your application can be slower. You know, so, so that would be another reason. Um, so, so let's do that now. There's a, there's a little bit involved to create the, um, to create your, your uh, custom image. So, so let's do that now. So basically, when you want to create a custom image, you basically you create a virtual machine just like you normally do, and then you just install all your software on it, and then you can then you basically just take a snapshot image of that machine at that point in time. So let's uh, let's let's do that now. So let, let's just st stay with let's stay with Ubuntu. To Azure Chorus Resource Group will be Chorus. So we're just um, so we're just gonna just create a virtual machine just like we usually do. Button sense. We'll do password. There. And then we can do uh, disk. We'll just keep the disk. We don't want to attach a data disk, else that would else that data disk would also come over when we create that image. The networking we don't really have to worry about. We'll just go with what we've been using. Do that. We don't want load balancing. And so. So what we can do here is let, let's just let's let's install our um, just like we've seen in the previous videos. Let's use Cloud Init to install Nginx by default, and we're going to be installing Node and all of that. So then, what we can do is actually we'll have that on our machine, and then we can actually use that um, for our image if we need to. So let's let's just add that there. And then I think we're good. So let's review and create. And perfect. So let's create. And this will probably take a few minutes. All right. So our virtual machine is up and running. So let's let's go to that. Let's SSH in to make sure that we you know, so so our Cloud Init installed Nginx and Node. 
So one thing like what we can just do is like we we can check that node is installed. So then we can verify that node is actually installed on the next when we after we write the file or write the image. So let's SSH in there. Let's clear that out. All right, it's using the same IP again. So ignore that if you've um, I've already this IP has already been used, so I just need to clear that out. You shouldn't get that error though. All right. All right, so we're in. All right, so let's just let's verify that node is installed. And node is not installed. Wait, what are we missing? Why did that not get installed? Okay, well, that that that's fine. We don't need to. We don't really need to know that installed. I think the the cloud net failed somehow. Um, so that's odd, but that, that's fine. We don't we don't really need we don't need Node, but but think of like you know we might uh, like Nginx or Node might be something that we would have in our in our image. Um, so like like uh, let's actually just let's install. Um, let's just do it manually for now. So what is it actually doing? Um, so we could just do. Um, so we're using Ubuntu, so we can. Let's just do. Let's just install Nginx. Let's just see if it is actually installed. If Nginx is installed. Uh, oh, so it is installed, but. Yeah, so something happened with our our cloud net. I don't know what happened, but I'm not too worried about it because we don't. We're just I'm just trying to make a point on on how how the images work. So um, let's just see. See if that'll work. Uh, so we'll do that. npm. Well, that's an old npm version. Um, so, so one thing actually, what we would probably do for your image when you're creating the image, is you wanna you wanna update your all your packages first, probably. So that would be a common thing. So let's just do that. All right, so we're up to date. Um, so let's see if we can get a better version. All right, so, so that's, I think NPM is on version like five right now, but, but that's fine. We don't need, we don't need to worry about that. Um, but maybe your, maybe your image had needed 3.5, but all right. So we've got NPM installed in this. So now what we want to do is we want to, we want to make an image of this server now. So we've got our server set up, we've got NPM installed, and then now we just want NPM installed on all of our images that we use. So to do that, what we can do is, so we're inside of our, our virtual machine here. Um, so we're going to, we're going to click, we can click capture. And before you do this, make sure you read what it says. So when you create when you want to create an image from a virtual machine, it's got to deprovision it. And you won't be able to use that machine, that virtual machine after the image is being created either. So basically, once you when you create the image of this virtual machine, this virtual machine goes away. So if you have anything on there you need, make sure it goes away, or you don't need it, um, because it will go away. Um, so just FYI, um, do that. So first thing we need to do is go is run this command, this w agent deprovision user, um, on our on, in the terminal. So let's do that now. So you need a sudo. Um, dash D 
run that. It's going to ask us something, so yes. And you see will account and entire home directory will be deleted. So we've done that, so we're good. So now we're ready to, to create the image. So we can name our image anything we want. So let's do, you know, uh, foobar course I am image. Um, and you can store it in the resource group is is up to you. I will probably create a new resource group because maybe maybe somebody else in my company wants to use this and they're going to be not in the same resource group. Um, so let's just name it, you know, image holder or something like that. It's up to you. And then we can delete this virtual machine after it's been created. So, so basically the virtual machine that we are currently on is useless when we do this now. So might as well just let them let Azure delete it for us. And then zone resiliency, uh, you pr probably want to just set it to on. What that means is if, if you have it off, that means whatever VM this machine is in, which I think is uh, US East probably, that, that's then you can only create use that image in that in that region. So if you set zone resiliency to on, you can basically just use that image anywhere on any region that you're in. Um, so I would do that. All right, so now we're gonna type the virtual machine name. Just They just wanna make sure that, you know, we're not doing this by accident. So our name is chorus image base. All right, so this, this will take a few minutes probably. All right, so our custom image has been created and our existing virtual machine will be um, deleting now. Let's just go and verify our image was created. So let's just go to resource groups and we should have another one pop up soon. All right, so we've got our image holder resource group that we created and you see we've got our image here now, perfect. So how do we actually use that image? You know, so let's go and let's create a new virtual machine. We'll use Azure course as a subscription resource group course, virtual machine. We'll just do foo bar VM region us East. And now here image, we've always been selecting Ubuntu here. But we want to use our custom image that we already had, which which we determined we had npm installed by default. So we can go here, and we can go to my items, and now our image shows up here that we just created. So we can select that. Then we're just going to leave all the defaults. Let's set a username, and password. Keep that the same. We'll select our web server subnet that we've been using. That looks good. And you can see how now, like in our previous videos, like we could use CloudNet. See, we can't use the CloudNet with the custom image that we created. So that's where using an extension may, may come in handy at that point. Um, but we don't, we're not going to use the extension right now. There's nothing really we need to do. You know, we've already got NPM technically installed on our image and that's what we're looking for. So we're good. So let's, let's create this. And then once it's created, we can SSH in to verify that, you know, NPM is actually installed, you know, to make sure that our image did what it did. And it had everything that, you know, we, that we thought was in there is actually in there. All right, so our VM is created. So let's let's go and SSH into it and make sure everything's working correctly. So this is just like any other VM that we've created before. This is we use a custom image. So let's SSH. Let's grab the IP, put it out. SSH will at this. Yes. Password. All right, so we're in. So let's verify that npm is actually installed. And 
And it is. So now npm is installed. So npm is not installed by default on Linux, but we installed it in that image we built. So now anytime we create a new VM, npm is going to be installed. So, so yeah, npm is not the best example. So you might have Nginx and just users and other stuff like that. But I think you get the idea of, of the power of having a custom image. And, you know, you can see how these might be useful for load balancing, which we'll go over in some future videos. So make sure you hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss out.